Alberto Baloney. A Legacy of Dedication and Struggle. Rosario, 8 News, August 22, 2023. On this day, 18 years after his physical departure, we gather to honor the enduring legacy of Alberto Baloney, a remarkable presence in the annals of aid and the broader union movement. A towering figure, Baloney's imprint on the State Workers Association, 8, remains indelible. Among his peers, he was hailed as the enlightened worker, a testament to his remarkable dedication. Throughout his multifaceted life, as a ship mechanic, civil servant, union leader, and foremost a dedicated advocate of the national left movement with an internationalist vision, Baloney left an indomitable mark. Born to an Italian immigrant family in the southern reaches of the Santa Fe province, Alberto Baloney embarked on a career as a skilled worker specializing in marine diesel engines, honing his craft at the apprentice school of the Ministry of Public Works in Rosario. His avid reading earned him the moniker, The Enlightened Worker, and it was during the 1950s, in the aftermath of Perrin's fall, that he emerged as a key player in the rekindling of the labor movement. By 1956, Baloney assumed the mantle of General Secretary of the Internal Commission of Delegates at 8 Rosario, subsequently becoming a member of the Directive Commission of the 62 Union Organizations, within the city. This body formed in response to governmental intervention during military oversight of the General Confederation of Labor, CGT. Simultaneously, he represented workers in national assemblies and congresses. In the provincial elections of December 1961, he stood as a candidate for lieutenant governor of the province of Santa Fe, uniting the Argentine Socialist Party, PSA, the National Liberation Movement, MLN, Malina, dissident radicals, and combative Peronism. In 1965, Bologna embraced a new role as a professor of Argentine and Latin American history in Buenos Aires. Infused with passion for these subjects, his self-driven pursuit led to his appointment as Professor of Economic and Social History at the Faculty of Humanities of the National University of La Plata in 1973. His journey was not devoid of hardship. Threats from groups like the AAA led to a raid on his Buenos Aires home in 1975, propelling him into hiding and eventual exile alongside his partner Estella Weisberg. Over months, the couple navigated their way to Paris, overcoming the loss of documents and funds stolen by parapolis. Their journey brought them in contact with fellow exiles and allies, including Daniel James, a British student who would become a lifelong friend and renowned sociologist. After a year of perseverance, they arrived in Paris with the support of figures like James, human rights lawyer Eduardo Luis Duhild, and the lawyer and radical politician Ippolito Solari Irigoyen. In Europe, Baloney continued his activism, contributing to the Solidarity Committee with Argentina and Uruguay, collaborating with luminaries like Julio Cortázar and Julio Laparque. He tirelessly championed Argentine workers' rights through organizations like CAIS, Forum, and TYSAE, even contributing to the compilation of a list of disappeared Argentine workers presented to international forums. In 1978, he played an instrumental role in the committee to boycott the organization of the Soccer World Cup in Argentina, COBA, which garnered wide support and underscored his impact on French society. The memory of Alberto Baloney stands as a cornerstone of contemporary Argentine history. From his labor movement engagement to his devotion to history and social equity, his legacy persists as an exemplar. Through his writings and activism, he etched an enduring mark in the struggle for workers' dignity and rights. From anarchism to Peronism, a journey of confluence. Among Baloney's seminal contributions is his book, Del Anarchismo al Peronismo, published in 1960. This work reinterprets the labor movement's history through the lens of the national left. In 1976, he penned Past and Present of Peronism, a series of articles in Liberation magazine, reaffirming his commitment to political and social analysis. Baloney also collaborated with the magazine of Puntas, overseen by exiled Argentines in Paris, 1979-80. His reach extended to international gatherings such as the IV International Meeting of TYSAE in Malmo, Sweden, 1980, and the two international seminar on the history of the Latin American labor movement in Caracas, Venezuela, 1980. Amid Argentina's democratic transition starting in 1983, the path to returning to his homeland remained elusive. Thus, he spent his final years in Paris, removed from political life. As a dedicated reader and bibliophile, he meticulously constructed a vast political archive and historical library. In 2022, this collection found its way back to Argentina, encompassing over 35,000 volumes now housed at the Center for Documentation and Investigation of Left-Wing Culture, Seed and CI, in the federal capital. As articulated by the Seed and CI Research Center's website, Alberto Baloney bequeathed a rich tapestry of resistance, activism, and social political engagement that indelibly shaped Argentina's trajectory. A cherished friend and companion, his memory finds sanctuary in this center, where his enduring legacy is meticulously preserved. Though he physically departed in August 2005, his legacy maintains an unwavering resonance. Alberto Baloney remains an eternal source of inspiration for those advocating for a more equitable and just world. His memory, along with those of his eight Rosario colleagues, Hector Quagliaro, Vicente Militello, Mario Aguirre, continue to unfurl as banners of tenacity, 
an eternal homage to his unwavering dedication and contributions to the history and justice of the Argentine working class. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.